Hi, welcome to my channel Quickview Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Quickview learner, and today I will share my learning about one of the interesting Quickview object, multi-box. So multi-box can be considered as a group of different list boxes uh, that are present in the dashboard. So you can see this different list boxes that are present over here. So this is year list box, this is month list box and you see that these are two different uh, list boxes present in a horizontal fashion in this dashboard and occupying a lot of space and whereas multi box gives you you know a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, saving the real estate of the dashboard. So let's create one and see the difference. So this, in this design menu, this is uh, the option or this is a button for creating the multi-box or you can right click on the blank space and go new sheet object and click on multi-box. Let's uh, figure out where we have a uh, fiscal month and fiscal year. So fiscal year, add, add, apply. Okay. All right, so as you see, as compared to two, these two list boxes, this multi box is saving a lot of space and having similar values like these list box have. So we can select the value and the dashboard will be changed accordingly. So you see this, how a multi box can really help you in saving the real state of the dashboard and give you the flexibility of applying a lot of filters in a small space. So let's remove this for now and uh, select uh, a new or create a new multi box. So let's select some values say for example from here customer to say these many values add apply and okay so you see there's a lot of values are now present in this list box right and one of the feature that this has is uh, once you select any of the value so now because it is appearing over this uh, chart it is not you know updating the right value so let me just clear it again I will remove this and try to create a list box again so that it will appear at the right place So we will do the process again, bear with me for this. So let's select, we select up till this position, apply. All right, so we have the list box at the correct place. So as we see uh, this list box, you know, we select any of the value from the given list of values and we are not occupying a lot of space so we select Sigma their respected values are you know updated over here and similarly the dashboard so let's click clear and see some of its properties so properties is so one of the very first properties is about the order in which they are appearing. So for example, uh, let me just close this my scan. All right. So, so the way the fields are currently ordered, uh, they are ordered, you know, as we have selected from the available fields. But if you have a requirement that uh, you want to uh, sort them numerically, then you can click on this count order 
so this this option order them order the fields by the numerical you know positions or values next is the load order when you click on the load order what they do uh, they order the field as they are in the backend data set the next is the text order so when you click on the text order it will alphabetically sort the values apart from that if you have any requirement like uh, moving a particular field up and down so for example customer trend say you want to have this customer trend just below to the customer you can promote up till here so that they will appear just be below to the custom uh, customer so this is how you can use the preload or uh, pre-configured ordered uh, buttons and uh, use these promote and demote button for a lot of customization in the order of these field values Another very nice option is sort by applicability. So what it does that whenever you select any value, so and when this option is selected, uh, after selecting the values, what are all the fields which is related or not excluded uh, will move above and whatever uh, the field which will be excluded will move down. So in that way, the applicable fields will be selected will be uh, you know presented first and all of the values that are excluded you know will be uh, at the bottom so let's see how it does this uh, for example let's create uh, selection say DCP research so you see this all of all the values except these two excluded values so because they are associated or applicable to each other they are highlighted over or they are as they have moved above and these excluded fields have their place at the bottom so these uh, kind of uh, arrangement in the multibox happens on the fly. So this is one of the uh, interesting feature which is very unique to the multibox. Let's see uh, some more features by clicking on its properties. Um, sort, uh, which is very similar to uh, other objects. So sort is something like uh, sorting the value so for example you want to sort the values that are present in customer say you uncheck this and you want to sort it by text say in uh, reverse alphabetical order you click on apply and okay so values will now appear for this in reverse alphabetical order so let's clear this and and see that first value is Z and rest of the values are appearing as per their defined order in the sort so that's how you sort the values very simple and similarly you can click each field and set its sort uh, options presentation presentation is again uh, very similar to other objects uh so it has option like you can select individual field and set its alignment its values alignment like you want to align it left center or right how you want to align it you can do that click on apply so customer values will be centered aligned so and what about numbers if if say customer trend has number you want to align them right or left you can change the position um, another interesting property is grid style so if you click on grid style uh, the metric the 
multi box will appear in a grid style say click on apply so it's more of a grid style so but not very good in look and feel perspective so we will uncheck this apply so another interesting option is limit drop down value to 10 lines let's see apply okay and see customer so now you see only first 10 values will be appearing and for rest of the values we have to go down so this is just to you know avoid that long list of values which was covering the entire screen so in that case this property will be really helpful where we can uh, limit the drop down values that is present in the presentation tab so let's move on to number property uh, if you have any number related field say expense actual you want to overwrite and don't want to have some say decimals you can change this pretty simple and uh, I encourage to go and explore font is simple uh, you just have to select what kind of font you want you want bold click on apply values have values as well as field text is now changed so let's make it regular again uh, go and explore uh, by hidden trial method and uh, layout again uh, interesting one is uh, uh, this show property where you specify whether you want to show this text box always or you want to conditionally show this text box and uh, how you specify the condition uh, I will encourage you to revisit or visit uh, my earlier video which was uh, click view text object there I have explained how you can uh, make the visibility of an object on a particular condition so I'll just click on always here in options uh, you have different options like move or size copy or clone so this is like uh, you if you want the end user to move or resize this uh, multi box they can do that but if you uncheck they will not be able to do that so these properties are very simple like copy and clone size to data so these are very simple you can check and uncheck this and figure it out how they are changing scroll buttons scroll background these are uh, scroll buttons related color which you want to specify if there are any scroll buttons or what kind of uh, scroll background uh, a multi box should have you can specify that probably related to your policies about the color coding next is the caption uh, caption is again uh, similar to the other text other objects the click view objects that we have discussed where we can show the caption uh, the title the text in the caption if you want to show uh, what should be the background color and text color uh, when this multi box is inactive and what should be the act, uh, background color and text color when you click on this uh, multi box and make it active so you can set the properties over here according to your uh, color coding policies in your organization caption alignment uh, very simple currently we are not showing any app caption so uh, not relevant here you can uh, enable uh, these icons like uh, send to excel copy image to clipboard and these are similar to how I have explained in my earlier videos about it X position Y position is about where the text box is positioned and the multi box is positioned what its width and height and if you want to minimize it you can click on minimize and it will a button will appear to minimize this thing so these properties are simple it's, it's just a matter of fact that you select a property and change will appear to you and I have explained this in earlier videos so I encourage you to go ahead and explore these properties and I will bring you the next video with next object. Thank you.